Creating the life that you feel like you deserve isn't gonna happen by accident. If you want 2019 to be your best year ever, then you're gonna wanna watch this video. All right, so check this out. I wanna to talk to you guys today about the three different types of people and which one you wanna be if you wanna get massive success in your life, make a lot of money and have a lot more fun. All right, so if you're brand new because you just jumped on, my name's Cody Sperber, I'm the Clever Investor, I'm CEO of a real estate investing education company out of Phoenix, Arizona. This is my house back there. I'm in my backyard area, got this cool little lake. Just got done working out, and I gotta I got be honest with you, I didn't feel like working out today. My knee hurt, I'm tired, it's Sunday. For whatever reason, I didn't feel like working out, but this message that I'm about to share with you is relevant to that concept because we've all been in that place where we don't feel like it. There's three different types of people out there. The first type of person is somebody that always is searching for a good opportunity always searching for the next great thing, always on the hunt to make money. And so what they do is they constantly are out watching videos and listening to podcasts and um, uh, following different gurus. And they jump from guru to guru to guru because they're, every time they hear a new money-making strategy, they're like, oh my God, that's amazing, I wanna do that. So they dive all into that strategy. And they try it for a couple months and they don't really get the momentum that they want. They don't get the results they want. And so they jump from one strategy and then they hear something else or they ask for somebody's opinion. What do you think about this? And they say, oh, you can't do that. It doesn't work like that. And they go, oh, okay, but, but you should try this other thing. This thing is really hot. And they go, oh, okay. And they jump from one opportunity to the next. You know those type of people. They're in different MLMs. They're always got a new business idea. They're jumping from niche to niche to niche and they get stuck because they're so worried about what they look like. They're so worried about other people's opinions. They're the dabblers. They're the, they're always wishy-washy. They're constantly changing directions and they try something and they half-ass it and then it doesn't work and then they go, oh, I knew that wasn't gonna work. That's some bullshit. That's, that doesn't work like that. And so they jump from one vehicle to the next vehicle to the next vehicle. You know those people. Maybe you're one of those people, all right? I've done that, right? I've done that. That's a very bad habit. You don't wanna be that type of person for the long run, not if you wanna become super successful. The second type of person is the person that is constantly stuck in inaction. Here's what I mean. They are, their ego is so fragile. They're so worried that they're gonna fail publicly. They're so worried about their fears. Their anxiety is overriding their senses. They're constantly worried about the what ifs of the world that they're stuck in this world of inaction. So they hide behind their fears by always convincing themselves that they need more information. I have to have this all perfect. I need to learn a little bit more. I need to do more research. I need to have the perfect business plan. I need to have the best logo. I need to have the perfect colors, the perfect website. You know this type of person too. They're stuck in inaction and they're using this concept that I need more data in order to move forward with confidence that they never do anything. But that's some bullshit because that, they're not needing more data. Their fears are preventing them from moving forward. This type of person is stuck in a world of inaction. You don't wanna be the first type of person where other people are driving or steering your ship. You don't wanna be the second type of person that's hiding behind their fears in a world of inaction. You wanna be the third type of person 
The third type of person is what gets you the mansion. The third type of person that gets you the ability to live on the lake, have complete freedom, spend as much time with your friends and family and loved ones as you want. The third type of person, and here's the thing, I used to be the first two type of people on some level. I was the over-preparer. I was the procrastinator. I was the person always asking for opinions. And if you're one of those type of people, it's not your fault. It could be the way you were raised. It could be the fact that your parents constantly, you know, put in your head that you need to grow up to be a doctor or an engineer, or, you know, go to school and go to college and get a degree and go get a corporate job and work your way up the corporate ladder. You were raised with the belief system and it, it, you're, uh, by the information you were receiving, you created a belief system that prevented you from being the third type of person. The third type of person is a person that takes massive action. The fire ready aim. They understand that the formula for results is knowledge plus massive action equals results. That's the formula for success. And in order to create the success habits to become the third type of person, you need one, take ownership of where you're currently at. A lot of people don't do this. A lot of people don't look in the mirror and get fucking real with themselves and say, you know what? Somebody else is steering my fucking ship right now. Somebody else is in the driver's seat. My parents are. My friends are, you know, family members are. I'm worried about what I look like on social media. Damn, you're right, Sperber. I'm constantly over-preparing, over-analyzing, over-thinking. And you know what I'm not doing? Making fucking money. I'm not making money because I'm in this world of preparation and studying and researching and analyzing. Well, I'm telling you right now, you're never going to break free of the rat race. You're never gonna get out of this mental, middle-class prison thinking that's you're just gonna want to be successful, you're just gonna want to make a lot of money and it's just gonna magically fucking appear. Unless your parents have a lot of money and they you inherit it, or you get lucky and win the lottery, it's never gonna happen. Nobody else is gonna come and hand it to you. You have to go and earn it. Do you guys understand what I'm saying right there? And sometimes I hear like Gary V or Andy Frisella, and they're like, you gotta fucking work, man. You gotta put in, put in the fucking work. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know that. I get that, but I'm stuck. And there's a lot of good people stuck. So step one is taking ownership. You get unstuck by looking in the mirror and getting real with yourself. And then you get clarity by, step two is get clarity by becoming intensely focused on one or two things. And those one or two things have to be things that move the needle. They have to be the most profitable things you can do with your time. This is where most people break down. They do too many things at one time. You cannot build a business and do it all at one time. You have to get intensely focused on one or two things that are the most profitable. Sales cures everything. You have to make sales in order to build the business. You have to make sales. Once you bring in the money, everything else will fall into place. You can go and hire people to do the customer support. You can go hire people to build the widgets. You can go hire people to run every other aspect of operations, marketing, all that shit. But if you don't bring in the money, which normally is you having to go out there and sell the dream to people, You can't do 10 things at 10%. You have to do one or two things at 110%. Do you understand what I'm saying right there? Yes or yes? 
I fucking love my backyard. Every day I get to hear the running water. It's so peaceful. I used to dream. I used to drive by this neighborhood and dream about what life would be like living on the water. This happened because I took massive action. I designed the life I deserve. And if you're sitting there watching this right now and you feel like there's more gas in your tank, if you want 2019 to be your best year ever, if you're sick and tired of being stuck, sick and tired of living average, if you want more out of life, if you believe that there's a next level of life in store for you, then you gotta do something about it. You have to become a person of activity, of action. You can't wish it into existence. You have to go and earn it. But it's not just putting in the work, it's putting in the smart work. Getting laser focused on one or two things and fucking dominating them. And those one or two things have to move the needle. I'm sorry for cussing in this one, but I'm passionate about this because I believe with all of me that you can break free. You don't have to live an average life. There's enough average people already out there. If you follow me, you, you watch and you engage and you pay attention because you want more out of life. And I commend you for that because not a lot of people think that way. Not a lot of people take the time to create and do the self-development and create the mindset that enables you to go off and be successful. Most people settle. Most people, they have no drive, no ambition, and they waste their time. And it's unfortunate, but not you. And I commend you for that. That's step one, get it in your head that you want more out of life. Step two, become a person of action. If you're currently not and you realize you've been wasting time, that's okay, we've all been there. But once you, the only thing that would be your fault, right? It's not your fault if you have been there up to this point. The only time it would stay your fault is if you stayed doing the same shit that didn't work for you. That's when you are becoming somebody who settles who accepts the status quo. But once you identify, man, I'm, I'm the wrong person. Somebody else is steering my ship. I need to stop jumping from vehicle to vehicle. I need to get laser focused and become a person that dominates. Once you make that decision, you shift over to that third personality type and boom. It's not gonna happen right away. It's not gonna happen on your time frame, but it will happen if you stay consistent. Consistent action over a long period of time gets you the results. What do you think? All right, if you're watching this live, I wanna say thank you guys for watching this. If you're watching this as a replay, uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on today's message. I'd love to hear it. If you agree with this, like this video, subscribe to my channel, put on post notifications. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything left to say. Love you guys. I'm out of here for now. Take care, comb your hair. Coach Berger, Clever Investor, signing off for now. Till next time, peace. Hey, listen, while you're here, right after you subscribe to my channel, go ahead and grab my free book, How to Flip Houses with Little No Money Down by clicking the link down below in the description. It's my gift to you, and it's a step-by-step -step guide on how I got started in real estate and how you can too. Hope it helps.